Greetings, YouTube. What we have here on loan to me, I do not own this vacuum, but it was on loan to me uh, from a vacuum collector friend of mine. And this is a filter magic, magic uh, looks like the light just went out, uh, water or watermatic uh, vacuum. And at first glance, you might think it's a filter queen or a Silver King, and it is not. Um, this company is, was based out of North Carolina and went out of business. That being said, we're going to do a review on it. I'm going to just show you a little bit about it because it's, it's a particularly weird vacuum. Um, so first off, we have a pre-filter, and these sometimes uh, you'd put paper in there. There's nothing in there right now. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then you had a HEPA filter right here. And the first time I saw this, I did not think this was a HEPA filter. I did not think these things filtered well. I said, well, this is really funky. The fact that somebody would pay $3,600 for this vacuum, I felt like this company and the people doing it were just ripping people off. Um, well, they're out of business, so it's kind of a mood point. Um, it's on casters. It moves very, very well for being a little R2-D2 looking guy. Um, now, they did what Silver King did in the end and what some other companies have done and what I wish uh, Tacony would do. If you're listening to Tacony, buy a Visselvec powerhead and stick it on the end of your vacuum. So, what this means is this vacuum, even though it was body's not made, it's got a Plastiflex hose, uh, but that means we have your standard uh, EBK340 powerhead that has been made with so many logos and so many other vacuums that is still serviceable, and it also means the vacuum has a swivel neck, a lifetime belt, and steers very well. Um, something that is a little strange is the wand does not telescope which for the price of the vacuum is kind of odd. Um, so I have also the accessories box with it. So this is maybe my favorite part. We'll go over the Watermatic. A little brief description of how this works. And it actually does use the same motor as a Silver King. Uh, one thing that's interesting about this is it was once sold with like a Douglas or some sort of powerhead similar to that. Um, and it will go on to explain uh, the different attachments, how it goes together, and all this. So what's interesting about this vacuum is, this one's never been used, you can put this in, remove one of the pre-filters, and use it for water pickup. So that was kind of cool. Um, I have here the plastic wands for bare floor. The uh, pretty high quality bare floor tool. I, I can't knock that. Uh, now, I also have here the this person this is the math for the door door salesman. $3,200. I know I said 36 This one was $32. Uh, again, people paid a lot of money. Now, this, I'm not, this is just your standard set of attachments like I'd get for $25. Bucks. Vacuum store, we have a wet pickup nozzle. Uh, amazing no soap cleaner. I bet this is Procyon. Yep. Uh, that's Procyon. And a wet pickup hose that's separate, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get into the wet pickup section of this or do any of that. We're not interested in shampooing this carpet, at least not tonight. Uh, so we're gonna put all this back. Again, this was given uh, this vacuum has been used uh, according to the owner six times. Uh, so I think that makes this really 
Kind of a special machine. It's not new, but it's almost new old stock. Um, so we're gonna put those away. And we're gonna get to vacuuming. Again, this really maneuvers very, very well. It doesn't roll over or do anything funny. Um, and I test it with the particle counter and I wish I had left that on camera. Uh, because it does, it does meet modern HEPA filtration standards. Um, so, I'm going to turn this on. The switch, the switch, by the way, is this big thing here. It's not particularly quiet. And a little fluorescent uh, power head is kind of cool. It's just really, really a cleaning well. I think that shows that even in tight places uh, like this bathroom, having casters are def all the right around are superior uh, to not having them. So we're also going to uh, open up and see what we sucked up in this quick little area. We didn't actually vacuum a whole lot, just this little area, but we're just curious because part of the fun of this vacuum and the thing I don't like, <laughs> but is that you get kind of the bagless satisfaction of whew, seeing what we sucked up. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, we'll go over into the light. But all that, just in a small area. So very, very cool. Uh, um, how much that just picked up just there. So that's kind of my brief overview. We're not gonna quite call this a review. We're gonna call it an overview of uh, the special edition filter magic or water magic. And I wanna, I wanna thank uh, my friend uh, for letting me borrow this and do a quick video on this um, kind of forgotten vacuum. Um, so if you see one of these at a thrift store, if the hose is intact and the motor's intact, or you see one of these and I'd say it's under a hundred bucks, probably 50 bucks, uh, it's complete, I would go for it. Um, just kind of another fun vacuum option. It also has a nice long 30 foot cord uh, with three prong cord. So as always, please like, subscribe, uh, and if you have any questions about the filter magic, watermatic, 
uh, please comment below.